Hello, Steve Steve 79 Well, um, I was just about to do a video about Doctor Who because there's a rumour that um, Ollie Alexander was going to be cast as the next Doctor Who. But before I could even do that, um, his manager has come through with, uh, with an otherworldly message. Um, even though Ollie is often contacted by Cybermen, I'm afraid I have to exterminate this speculation as nice as it is to see interest in this story regenerate. It just isn't true. As odd as it might sound, Ollie is focusing on his music for the time being. So, not happening. There's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of drama in the Doctor Who camp. Now, I confess, I know nothing about Doctor Who. I saw the Tom Baker years um, in syndication and thought they were current day and was not impressed because I thought they looked really cheap, not reali realising it was like a long, really old. And then, a little bit later, I watched the first season um, of the, the reboot um, of the show, and I planned to keep watching it, but um, I had trouble with the TV station. So I thought, I'll just do DVDs. I'll do the box sets by season, and I just never did it. So I really don't know what's happened with Doctor Who. But what I've heard, because there's two sides of the camp, two camps, two sides of the argument, is that they changed um, to a female Doctor with Jodie Whittaker, and the some Doctor Who fans will argue that, oh, just a bunch of misogynists hated the show just because it had a female in it, playing Doctor Who. Uh, other people actually claim that when um, they brought on Jodie Whittaker, they also, they also brought in um, the Chibnall to be the new showrunner, and that he changed the direction and style and tone of the show, and that's what people don't like. Now, I know some Doctor Who fans, and some of the usual suspects, the fandom menace people, are misogynists, and they do hate the show and hate Jodie Whittaker purely because she's a woman. Um, but plenty of people that I have also sort of seen and read articles by and seen videos by do have problems with the direction the show went in. Um, they went from a fun science fiction show for the family, basically where you had like, you know, silly aliens basically, to stories about um, uh, segregation and the environment and basically the new villains were humans and, and white humans specifically. Uh, and people didn't particularly like that um, that um, agenda-driven identity politics, just that, that whole sort of thing. And then they went and um, rebooted within the show the whole timeline and changed the history of Doctor Who and his, what Alien is and everything, just so... It's just a big, huge mess now. And um, I was planning to watch the show because I wanted to educate myself. I didn't want to be ignorant on Doctor Who because it's too big a franchise and too much of science fiction history to not really know about it. But um, I haven't been able to locate every season and I wanted to watch the show like in order and watch every season and uh, marathon it and I haven't been able to do that yet. I do have Jodie's years so far and uh, most of the modern era, but I'm missing a couple. until I, I might just start with them them and get them out of the way because it's going to be a while until I get the older series so I do want to educate myself I don't want to be ignorant but um, either way I don't need to know the history of the show to know that um, Ollie Alexander is not going to be part of it so a lot of people are getting excited because he's openly gay and he's quite over the top um, I've only ever seen the guy be interviewed on Graham Norton once I've never seen him in anything I don't know any of his music um, he seems fine he apparently did really well in the show It's a Sin which was um, he worked on with Russell T Davies, who was um, an earlier showrunner on Doctor Who before Chibnall, back when people liked it. And the show's ratings have gone down. Um, the initial ratings when Jodie Whittaker came on were really good because I think people were curious, but they went down fairly noticeably uh, in the later years um, when she was on there. So I don't think it's really her fault. I think she's ultimately going to get blamed for it. Uh, I think if they had kept the style and tone and the direction of the show the same and just changed to a female actor, I don't think anyone, aside from a small group of misogynistic twits, um, would have cared. It would have been fine. But the people have been dropping out because the show just doesn't feel like Doctor Who anymore, and it's not from what people are saying and from what I've seen and heard. This is not fun anymore. They feel like they're getting lectured by, um, like, like, like a teacher or something. That's that's what the, the people have sort of described. It has. It's like, you know, a teacher walking around with a whole bunch of kids and doesn't feel like Doctor Who. She doesn't feel like... And I don't necessarily think it's her acting. I think it's just how she's written that she's not really... She doesn't have that sense of 
danger that Doctor Who had because yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go into the whole thing. Um, the video will be really long. This is the second video I've done on this because the first one was too long um, and I couldn't remember some names so I wrote them down. <laughs> but yeah, I just um, I'm a little disappointed because I was hoping she was gone because I was saying that she was going to film a couple of episodes and a regeneration and then he was going to come on and I'm like, well that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't sound right. Why, they, normally they have the actor play who for the whole year and then at the end they do the regeneration and then they bring another person on. It's like a contract thing. Um, they don't often cross the characters that the actors over and stuff. Um, even though they've done specials with different doctors and the five doctors and all that sort of stuff. So it didn't, I didn't believe it when I first heard it. I just heard it like 10 minutes ago. And when I was Googling just to get some names and check a few things, I already found the um, manager's response that shot it down. So that didn't last long. But um, I, would, I really would like Doctor Who to go back to what it was before. Because the few episodes I did see were fun science fiction. Uh, and I do see how basically families would sit down and watch Doctor Who together and apparently they don't do it anymore. So um, it's disappointing to see like all all the modern franchises that I love have been just decimated. Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, He-Man, now Transformers with Beast Wars and everything and um, I just don't understand how I, I don't understand how this keeps happening. I know there's, there's, there's licensing issues in Hollywood where um, people just want to buy license, buy the names to things and then create their own version so that they get all the licensing and marketing money. They don't want to use, like we grew up with all these franchises that we loved and we want to see them continue and then they come back and we think, oh great, but it's never the show or the characters that we loved. It's always someone else's different version because they either don't want to do the originals or they can't because they don't have the licensing or they won't make any money off the licensing if they use the other characters. They have to pay those people for their version of, of the characters or their version of the IP or whatever. It's just a nightmare. It's all about money. It's all about Hollywood and producers and IP and it's nothing to do with fans or what we want or, you know, our love for, for our genres and our franchises and that. It's just a bit of a mess. Um, so it would be nice to see Doctor Who come back because it's not dead yet. Once it's cancelled, because it was cancelled for, I think, 18 years last time. So if it goes off this time, it could stay off for a long time, because it's become a very expensive show. And there's the whole issue in Britain about um, the, the licensing, because in Britain you pay um, to have TV. You pay a TV licence, basically, and that pays for their um, BBC. So the BBC has the money to create the content, and they don't have to rely on advertising and that. They can actually be fairly... Um, um, not consistent, um, have some integrity with what they actually create. So it's, 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 it's a very strange um, way to do television. We don't do that like that in Australia. Um, we have our government pays for a couple of um, non-commercial channels, um, which is the ABC and um, SBS, which is sort of it covers all the minorities and um, everyone else. And then we have our commercial channels, which run totally on advertising, and they're pretty shallow. Um, so the BBC is sort of different, so I never realised it was like that, but um, I'm just going off on tangents, I'm just going to stop. Um, yes, yeah, so yep, yeah, Ollie's not coming, uh, he's not going to save Doctor Who, they're going to have to find another way to do it, but I hope they do, because it's too big of a legacy and too big of an icon to go down, and people are still kind of clinging to it, people are leaving, they're sort of jumping the boat, but some are still clinging to it, they've got a chance to save this. They've got enough of an audience that can get word of mouth going if they can, you know, get it back on the right track again. I think it can survive, but it's not going to survive much longer. So we'll see what happens this season um, with Jodie Whittaker. If she leaves at the end, because the other talk was that Chibnall was going to leave when she leaves, so they can get another showrunner in that is happy to go back to um, the old Doctor Who style and format, um, then, you know, but then the problem with that is they're always going to just associate Jodie Whittaker with that and there's always going to be that, oh, it, it failed because she was a woman and the fans didn't like a woman act, you know, a char playing the, the character. And it's kind of ridiculous because the idea that all the Doctor Who fans are all misogynists and they all stop watching because just because she they changed to a female actress, the ratings went up when she came on because people were interested in how 
they just were watching Doctor Who like normal. They didn't switch off because it was a woman. And some people were tuning because they wanted to see how they would play it with a woman. Um, and they didn't like what they saw. And they eventually went away just because they weren't enjoying the show. So, yeah. I'm still talking. I'm going to go. Bye.